We have Jim Davis with us today to talk to us about insect pests and turf. Welcome, Jim. Hi. Hey. I've got a question because there's all different types of turf grasses, I guess, and some are promoted as being pest resistant or not having any problems with pests. Is that true? No. <laughs> you know, all turf species have pests. You know, we get a lot of questions saying, you know, does Empire Zoysia pest free? You know, is it pest free? No. You know, Bermuda grass, Empire Zoysia grass, um, Bahia grass, St. Augustine grass, um, they all have insects that can attack and cause some damage to it. So each, each grass may have a different type of pest, though. So yeah. if you're used to working with chinch bugs and you switch over to a zoysia grass instead of your St. Augustine, you may suddenly have different pests you have to look for. It. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what are the most common insect pests, then? The most common insect pests? Well, the first one that we have on the slide is uh, mole crickets. Mole crickets aren't really a problem in St. Augustine, though. Not St. Right? Augustine. <laughs> yep, but it can be a real problem on Bermuda grass, and we've seen it in the villages as being a real problem on Empire's oyster grass. Um, so they, they are, they have become a problem, especially in the last couple of years up there. They have annihilated yards. I've seen them a lot on sports fields, too. Yeah, yeah and, that's, I mean, and that's because it's a lot of sports, field, sports fields have Bermuda grass, okay. which is their favorite. Okay, yeah. and what, what is... Um, that kind of bug look like? I mean, the damage or whatever on it. Yeah, on this slide right here, you can see how there's little raised tunnels, you know, kind of like a mole. Oh, that's why it's called a mole cricket. Exactly. There's little tunnels under the ground? Exactly. Okay. And, you know, the mole cricket would be about one and a half inches long. Um, their nymphs will occur about summertime. That's the best time to control mole crickets if you're going to treat for them. Um, it also feel kind of spongy whenever you're walking on it. That's just the little tunnels are kind yeah. of collapsing under your feet. Yeah. And they're also attracted to light. So if you happen to have like a bright street lamp or a bright light, uh, the adults, they fly in and they make a home. And that's where, that's where you have a tendency of a lot of uh, mole crickets um, uh, congregate at. Okay. We're going to talk about controls later. Yeah, we'll talk about <laughs> okay. controls later. Yeah. Okay. Now, another one that I've not heard that much about is a hunting bill bug. Yes. A hunting bill bug is the, one of the main pests on Empire's Voyager grass. And in this slide, the second slide here, you'll see what the, uh, the adult and the grub looks like and some of the, what the damage looks like. You know, looking at this slide, this could be anything. You know, you really have to identify the pest and make sure you have a pest there first. But, you know, the, the, the adult is a small weevil and the grub is a legless grub, you know. So the grub's kind of in the soil, maybe yeah. eating roots or something, and, but the adult could be up eating the, the, adult, the leaf. Adult, yeah, the adult's just as... Just as uh, big a pest as the grub in this situation. And the, the adult weevil, he'll chew, they'll chew small holes uh, near the crown of the top of the plant and the grub will feed on the roots. So if you want to check for grubs, just dig out like a little one by one area, lift the side up and check the roots and soil for any grubs. You know, if you have one or two, no big deal. You don't have to treat, that's perfectly normal. For if you have five, 10, then obviously you need to treat. Now for the grub, for the adults, um, the, to be honest with you, the best way to check for these guys is to uh, grab your flashlight, go out at night or early in the morning, and you'll see them running around on the top of your turf grass. So they're only out there really at night, and then in yeah. the day they're kind of hidden. Most of your pests are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you actually have to have a flashlight and look at yeah, them and, and get down them. into the turf and... Yeah. Wow. Yep. And you'll see, them, you'll see them running around and scurrying about. So. And we could possibly take samples, ca capture samples, oh, take yeah. into the extension office yeah, and yeah. to make put, sure that's yeah, what they are. <laughs> if you're going to take a sample of a bug, just put it in some alcohol to preserve it and bring it to the local extension office so we can identify it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the tropical webworm, sod webworm, I guess, yeah. is another one. I think I start to see the little whitish butterfly things as yeah. you're walking through the grass. Yeah, and that's, how, that's you know, when you know if you have tropical sod, sod webworms, if you're mowing and you see a lot of dull-looking moths flying around. That's letting you know that the caterpillars are actively feeding. Again, the caterpillars, you're not going to see them during midday. You'll probably see them really, really early in the morning or late at night. And, um, and they, they can be a pest um, on certain lawns and pretty much everything. Zoysia grass, um, St. Augustine grass is, a, is uh, one of their favorites. So this is one of those pests that is a generalist feeder. You know, on it'll go on basically them. anything. And yeah. the, the grubs come out at night and kind of eat off the grass blades? Yes, and they then do. They'll amazing. be on the very tips. Um, you won't miss them. Okay, but then at, in, at, during the day, they go back they go inside, down, but you hide. often will see, you can see green frass. Yes, you'll see or? green frass. Yep. 
And then they're just kind of chewed off blades exactly. on the grass? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the adults, do the adults really do any of the damage? No. Or they're just laying eggs? For no, the they're just reproducing. They yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, southern chinch bug. Yeah, the chinch now, bug. Chinch bug. Not cinch something. bug, chinch bug. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> chinch bug is what everybody who has St. Augustine knows about. Uh -huh. And it's, one of the, it's the biggest pest on St. Augustine grass. And, um, you know, these guys are about, you know, five eighths of an inch long. They're really, really small. When people look on publications or even on the slide, you know, they look really big. And yes. they're looking for a really big insect. They're very tiny. And they're very fast. Um, so the, you could, there are several ways to check for them. You could take a dust buster and suck them up using that way. Um, you can take a... Um, some, a can that has both sides empty and put it in the ground, put some soapy water in it, and they'll crawl to the top. Cut, cut off each yeah. end, and it, so it's kind of like a tube, and you push that down into then, the ground, exactly. pour some soapy water in, and then it just, they just kind of They'll come to the top. My favorite method is to get on your hands and knees, peel back the grass, and look for them. Uh, this last slide. Because um, they're only see, about an eighth of an inch Oh, they're very so. small. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this, that last slide, you can see the damage that, that they have. Um, they occur in areas that tend to dry out a little bit faster, you know, next to sidewalks. If you have an island with a concrete bed, that's a favorite spot. Um, so these are favorite places. They will migrate like this slide right here. Um, <laughs> the insects in this yard were migrating to the next yard. To the neighbor's yard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's very important to um, monitor these pests. You need to check your yard at least every week to check for hot spots. You know, don't, don't check every month. That's, you can be too late that way. So. Now, the chinch bugs are really only a trouble on St. Augustine, though? They don't... Mainly, they, they can occur on all species of turf grass, but you'll typically find damage, um, significant damage in St. Augustine grass. That's their favorite. Okay. Yeah. And I know Floritan was originally supposed to be chinch bug resistant, but they soon no, that's their got favorite around now. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's nothing really that's chinch bug resistant. Nothing 100% chinch bug resistant. Yeah, there are some more resistant cultivars out there, like maybe Captiva something like that, but nothing foolproof. You know, the best way to prevent these bugs is through proper management. Okay, well that brings us around to how do we control these. Mm -hmm. The best way to, to control them is using integrated pest management. So first of all, identify the pests. Don't just blanket apply chemicals Absolutely and you're not sure not. what it is. No, because chinch bugs, and they get resistant really quick. You know, insects evolve, and they get really tough. So the more you spray, the more they get resistant, and then you're reducing natural predators on top of that. So even have a worse problem. So first of all, identify it's a pest. Could be something different. Um, and then um, you can use um, any cultural methods. Uh, a lot of people tend to use frequent amounts of um, high nitrogen and quick release fertilizer. If you use that on a really frequent basis, um, that just increases your pest activity. You know, bugs like new growth. It's easier for them to feed on. So the more you fertilize, the more problems you're going to have with pests. Exactly. You know, make sure the irrigation is set. You know, if you have any stressed areas, that's when bugs come in. You know, so make sure that you're irrigating, you're, you're fertilizing properly, you're mowing at the right height. You know, uh, make sure that's done well. And then um, only treat, only spot treat for pests when it's absolutely needed. Don't broadcast anything. And to make sure you follow the label. And if you need to spray with a chemical, um, whenever you spot treating, just make sure you um, use the, the labeled insecticide. And it's also a good idea to switch chemical classes throughout the year, specifically with chinch bugs, different modes of action. Uh, so that way they will get less resistant. And to be honest with you, if you need to figure out what insecticides, um, what different modes of actions are, that's when you need to contact your local extension agent because there's a lot of stuff out on the market and some of it's really similar. So that you need to contact a professional when But we can that. get more information from solutionsforyourlife.com? Solutionsforyourlife.com has some excellent resources on how to treat for chinch bugs and they have one great publication that just um, tells you uh, everything you need to know about insect pest management on turf grass. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome.